The head of the Department of Research at the Kofi Annan International Peacekeeping Training Center, Professor Emmanuel Kwesienin, has revealed that Ghana's borders has become a net supporter and provider for the smuggling of small arms for activities of violent extremists. Speaking on the theme, scourge of violent extremism in the sub-region, threats to Ghana's security, stability and socio-economic development to mark the 20th anniversary of NORSAC in Tamale, Professor Enin emphasized that fear mongering and deliberate misrepresentation of facts and figures cannot help the fight against violent extremism. The extremist violence that we are seeing in Nigeria, in Togo, in Benin, in Burkina Faso, in Mali, in Niger, and elsewhere only take place because the domestic imperatives have created an enabling environment that allows the violence to take place. But fear-mongering and the deliberate misinterpretation of facts and figures will not help us in building resilient societies. You and I don't have anywhere to run to if we allow something like that to take place. We don't speak French. We don't have the money to resettle. We cannot swim. Our European friends don't want us as refugees. They've taken their money for development away when the Ukrainian Iranian war started. Let that be a lesson to all of us that we don't have anywhere to go apart from creating the conditions that allow stability, peace, and development to take place. Illegal mining sites have become attractive convergence points for those who seek to hurt this country because gold is small, it's easy to dispose of, it's highly valuable, and I think those of you who know uh, Tinga and some of Accra Dollar Power, thousands of young West African youth, well-armed, mining, but I think PMMC has not seen any dramatic rise in mining reserves.